Uh, hi there, my name's Jesse. <clears throat> and you are? Ah, come on, seriously, who are you? I am a shadow. Sent to eliminate all imposter Jessies. But, but I am Jesse! Oh, really? Then prove it. Tell me something that only Jesse would know. All right, you want to know something only Jesse could know? How about the fact that I wear blue underwear? I... If you're trying to make me so uncomfortable that I leave, it isn't working. Nope. Sorry. I'm not convinced. Sword time! Say your goodbyes, imposter! Well, if that's what you really think is best... It was nice to meet you, you strange masked man. Yes! Only the real Jesse would be so painfully earnest in such a dangerous situation. It can't be. Ivor? <clears throat> yes! It is I. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character, but eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all, so I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Ha! Huh, yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Not even a little bit. I see a smile. Nope, I'm not smiling. Not even a teeny no. smile. Teeny tiny microscopic iota of a smile. <sighs> Fine. Knew it! Get in here, Petra! What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin, and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud. A.K.A. you. But with my new ninja senses... <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right! Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No! But I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that! That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out, because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Hmm. 
Yeah. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. I tell him that I escaped, but that you tracked me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure he'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final, desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <coughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that. Right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor? Nuh-uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get anywhere. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay. Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along. Don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. We don't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Mightiest army I know. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not going to... Well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it! <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. They're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. Oh, this is so sad. Vinta sent us to join your army. Uh, yeah, real psyched about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we let them join our army? Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Can they be in our army? I'll be good. I promise. We don't have an army soup. Besides, Remember what happened to our real army? They all died in that infernal challenge room. I'm sorry, but we can't open the gate. You'll just have to find your compass pathfinding jollies elsewhere. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. 
Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah! Duh! Thank you, Val and Soup, for doing us a solid. It's our pleasure! We're kind-hearted guards who do what we can every single day! Doing solids, saving lives. Gotta say, it feels good. Real good! We're here to defeat Romeo and stop all of his challenges. Help us help you. Uh, help us. Yeah! Logically, we're helping you more than you're helping us, which wouldn't help us help you, but helping us would help us help you more than you've ever helped anyone, so... Ah, my brain hurts. I can't argue with your word magic. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Whoa, weird llama. She must smell Luna on you. This is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just <sighs> make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time.
Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? damage, so it's more relatable. You know, like, one trillion out of ten! Yeah! Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I ever heard. Poor goofballs. Cut down in their prime. Don't ask me how I come up with the names. Sometimes inspiration just comes to ya, ya know? waterfalls upstairs it's so calculated so precise judging by the multiple pressure plates there's some complex engineering behind these walls wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair I think this was meant for the three friends Romeo Zara and Fred how do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? but they don't look friendly. Great. Another golem. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! <laughs> what a showdown, folks! We're in the time of our lives, aren't we? Waterfall! Jesse, water it's turns lava time. into cobblestone. Congratulations, challenges! Stage one of 600! <laughs> Complete! Uh, what? 
Stage two. And... Begin. There's no way we're making it to stage 600. Three levers got us into this, so... So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set! Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready! Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks, quickly! this thing. Wow. 
this is the first place down here that looks alive. Oh, oh, perfect. Huh. Oh. I'll meet you over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. For Fred. Did Romeo do all this? Maybe he regretted it in the end. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. So strange to see flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bed rocking. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. It's like the one we used to have, back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, rabbits that can't find carrots. Just ugh, gets me every time. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It, it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. Who knows how much longer Jack's gonna stay with us. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. I know we've drifted apart, but there's still time to fix it. I know I can do more to keep everyone together. I want to believe you, but you can't just fix everything. I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. Beds don't go with the banners? I always like the color blue, something peaceful about it. Red bed, huh, <laughs> kind of fun to say. This one's purple, very regal. Zara, Fred, and Romeo. 
These must be their banners. What about this? It's a weapon, right? It's just a wooden sword. It's like the first thing you learn to build. Hardly an all-powerful super weapon. Let's keep looking. Something that belonged to Fred. Petra, I think we should talk about this. I told you, it, it's not important. We have bigger things to worry about right now. I get that. It's fine. If it's important to you, then it's important to me. I'm okay. Really. We have to take down the admin. After that, we'll figure out what comes next. Observer block? What's it looking at? The beds? Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are... What? What are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I, ugh, I hate potatoes. Don't act like you're not surprised too. Hashtag potato451, can't believe it. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. 
Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You're my best friend, Jesse. I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, then so is mine. Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away. This is our way to get Jack and Nurm. We need them. Great. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. You know that's not what Fred would have wanted. No, you're right. But Fred is dead because of his heart. Something else has to be tried. Heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Going after revenge would make us just like Romeo, Zara. We're better than that. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to see if Romeo understands anything but violence. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Get out of its way!
It's the Fred folk! Those are not the people from Fred's Keep. Those are mobs! Oh, just what we needed. To find me a bed when I had been so unhelpful. Go! Mobs don't stand a chance. like all my training for the marsh hoppers of the Harlein swamps totally paid off. Jack! Jack! Hey guys, pretty cool, right? For Fred's keep! For the future! Fight! Yeah! Ah! Time to let my sword get a taste of Monster Hide! It's hungry! Yeah! We have to repair the building, otherwise that Enderman is never gonna leave us alone. Yeah. Nothing like a little pressure to make building fun. but hopefully it'll be close to home. Everyone, we are leaving! Oh boy, radar. We're winning, for now. But they're not going to be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. Prove to us. We know that you're capable. Yeah. Look how well you did back in Romeo's challenge. You don't have to do this. It's, it's not about that. It's about doing what's right. No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. They get left behind. Oh, 
The Enderman is after me! I can buy you time! You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Radar. I'll see you topside. Come and get some of this! Oh yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He has this, and he's giving us an opening. Everyone now, kid, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere's got to be better than here. Oh, pain everywhere. That's it. No more mystery portals ever. What Nurm said. That was not a quality three point landing. Sorry, Nurmi. Is everyone all right? It's the Old Order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. He'd probably not want to touch anything. Too scared. <laughs> it was weeks before he'd touch the Order Hall front door without wearing gloves. He'll make it back to us. He'll just be a little... Late? Sure. Bet that'll bother him, too. <laughs> He's always on time. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. Where are the others? 